My name is Joel Domit, and I'm a stand-up comedian, and this is Nish Kumar. He's also a stand-up comedian, and uh, we've made a show called Tribal Boot Camp that is going to be on uh, BBC Earth August. The show is called Tribal Boot Camp, uh, and it's uh, basically about Joel Domit over here. Hello. Who uh, is a comedian, but also very keen on physical fitness mm. and very keen on real world fitness, so exercising without gym equipment. So it, the premise of the series is what happens when you take someone who's like that into the real world where people actually have to live like that on a day-to-day -day basis. So we've gone and lived with tribes around the world, the Maasai in Kenya, uh, we went to the Shaolin Temple in China, yeah. and we uh, spent some time with people who live very physically to see how someone like Joel actually cuts it in the real world. Yeah. And I am, I believe the technical term is the chunky, sassy sidekick. We ate some woodworms uh, oh, that yeah. were uh, feasting on a tree in the Philippines. Oh my God. We were, we were in this kind of, we were in this sort of, like, sort of bog. Yeah. Like, uh, looking for clams. Yeah. And then one of the guys uh, hacked a sort of branch that was partially in the water, pulled it out, and it was just covered in worms. They, I, like, the best way to describe it is they look like snot. They just looked like that, It's not the best way to describe it. It is the most accurate way, but oh. it's not necessarily the best way to describe just it. Just like gooey bogeys. Yeah. Just really long gooey bogeys. Yeah. And they grab them out. They're so long. Yeah. Oh. And then they just like, they push out the wood that the worm had eaten. Yeah. And then they just pop it in their mouth and eat it. And I was just like, oh, it's unbelievable. Weirdly... We actually quite enjoyed quite it. Quite tasty. At the start, we were like, oh no. Really quite tasty. Oh no. And then we were like, oh, oh. Mm, yeah, mm, actually really quite nice. Good meal. Yeah. I think my best moment, personally, I, th I think actually it was the horse ride in Mongolia. Oh, that was, that was an incredible, yeah. It was wonderful. Basically, I'd never ridden a horse before in my entire life. And got to this really remote, uh, sort of nomadic, um, they have these things called gears, which is like a sort of yurt tent. Um, and they uh, had like something like 700 horses or something, didn't they? Yeah. And they're all like wild, crazy horses, and they have horse races. And so other nomads from uh, across the way will come over and, and enjoy horse racing. And, um, and I'd never ridden a horse before in my entire life, and he taught me how to ride a horse yeah. very quickly. Yeah. Which is, was the... I think the most scared I've ever been in my life. You were very scared. Oh my god. And it was, all of the Mongolian kids were laughing at me because I was wearing a helmet. Yeah. They were really laughing. Just amazing how happy everyone is when they don't have Wi-Fi. <laughs> you know, it's just like... It's amazing how unhappy you are when you don't have Wi-Fi. That's true. It's just like, I think that was the mad thing. It's just the common thread with every single place we went. We went to the Philippines, China, um, Mongolia, Kenya, and Brazil, Brazil, Mexico, Mexico. and uh, every single place we went, no matter how remote, they were so happy. Yeah. But it was the most enriching experience yeah. ever. Like I sort of came away from it with a real sort of profound feeling of like I felt like a better human being. Yeah. You know, I. I just sort of appreciated what we had a lot more and um, and it was just got to see the most amazing places and literally every single one I was like there's, there's things that I'm witnessing that like it's so rare for yeah. someone to have been able to, to see it and it was such a privilege to do and see some of the things that we did and saw that you, uh, we would definitely do it again